everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours truly. I'm just doing a little podcast. Yes, we had a breaking news. I don't know if you saw in the previous video, previous podcast I uh, showed you. Yes, there's more details soon to come. Three o'clock today. That's right, three o'clock today. Press comments coming from the U.S. U.S. states. That's U.S. United States. Due to uh, breaking news, oh God. I don't know if it's a if it's a feel good story or a happy story or a laughable story. It's all in between. Uh, this is uh, the uh, the person that who got arrested today. If you don't, uh, I was surprised it was l this story had uh, because of the story of last year. I didn't know it was last year that this happened, or the previous year after before before the pandemic. But uh, yeah, uh, the one of the news stations refreshed my memory now. So last year, if you a lot of people don't know. Um, somewhere in Colorado, this is a state side, it's not Canadian side of things, uh, state side. So you, you guys probably, if, you've gone, if you ever drove to the United States, this is state side. Uh, so in Colorado, somewhere in Colorado, uh, there was two couples, uh, one of them being Barry Mel, you might have heard, he used to be a baseball player, a lot of people didn't know this. He used to be a baseball player in the early 80s, sometime in the early 80s, I think it was, he was a Jays player, Blue Jay player. Uh, you might have heard about his name uh, around the time around the early 80s around that time frame uh, He used to be a baseball player and uh, People might I have researched his name by the way just so you know I researched his name and uh, This coming three o'clock this afternoon. I'm hoping we're gonna get a press conference from uh, from one of these people from the state side about uh, the husband who got arrested we just heard this t early this morning that he got arrested. This is a year in into the investigations. Year into the investigations. So yes, um, I, won't, I won't give you a long song and dance story. It's not gonna be lengthy story, but I'll give you the short story. If you like the short story, you come to the right place. Uh, as you well know, as you well know, a lot of you YouTubers out there, it's around the time of Mother's Day. This is uh, the weekend of Mother's Day. Um, a young lady, well, she was a wife, uh, she went out for a jog, like any any woman out there would do. Um, out for just a you know a jog, you know a light jog or a walk, whatever the case may be, or bike riding, whatever whatever people do for recreation. Anyway, uh, th that's no here nor there. But anyway, let me clue you guys in. Let me clue you guys in. This is, aren't you lucky you're with me now at the moment? Uh, let me clue you in uh, what all happened, what all went down centrally. Uh, apparently, apparently this wife went for a jog, a normally jog, and all of a sudden she went missing. So uh, the people got worried. Uh, the husband surely got worried. Uh, the husband, uh, I don't know what he did, but he did the alt, he did the next best thing. He pleaded out to the social media uh, genre, as you people well know. Uh, if you're a loved one or you know husband or wife gone missing, the right thing to do is go on social media and say, "Hey, my wife has gone missing. My husband's gone missing. Can you find him or find her?" Uh, and it's originally catch twenty two. It's a catch twenty two on anybody's uh, position. Uh, so it's really sad to the individual lost in their loved one. It's not they went missing at this stage. It's they went missing. It's what they're applying. Uh, they went missing. So, somebody in the family went missing, and they're worried. They're very much worried. You can understand this. They're worried. And um, the husband did the right thing. He went out on social media, uh, uh, pleaded. Uh, the, uh, the people sometimes don't really do is plead out to the uh, social media and say, hey, find my wife. My wife has gone missing. And that led to that, led to that video. Uh, so the person in question, let me give you, uh, let me get the point here. The person in question, he goes by the name of Barry Mello. You might have heard about his name. Uh, he was the he was the husband that the wife gone missing to. Did everyone hear that? Uh, forget her name, Susan. I think her name was Susan or something. Uh, it was in Colorado. It was the United States side. It's not the Canadian side of things. The state side. Uh, so this was, if you're ever in the United States, this was a. A story for at least a year, at least a year. Uh, it ran like a few months, few months, and the brother of the wife who went missing did a search. They did one of these, you know, called the, you know, when they do a search party kind of thing. Um, they were looking for her, and, and they did a Google Hangouts on, on about it, and there were videos about it, videos 
entire entire videos on it. And uh, it was on since a year from last year from around Mother's Day, around the week of Mother's Day, um, that this this mother went missing. And uh, it was in the Colorado area, just so you know where the location was. It was in the Colorado, this was in the United States. And apparently, I don't know if they can tell you the true story, but I'm just telling you what I have heard and saw. Um, and uh, I don't know if I'm a witness to this, but I just, uh, like I said, the husband went out there on social media, put a, a video of his. He looked like he was crying. I kid you not. He was really upset his wife went missing. There was no joke. It was a, it was a, he was a nice husband. He was a very nice husband. He was, it was like any dad out there or any husband out there would do. Uh, put out a video. What was the next best thing? Well, he put the video out there, told everybody out there in the United States, say, if you find my wife, you know, a tip number, as they say, to do tip numbers. Um, and he, he, he did a good job. It was really, for him, it was like nerve wracking because it was the first time, he, I guess he's the first time he's ever done that, right? Uh, but people kind of read his body language, as they would say. People read his body language. And uh, yeah, I don't know if the people thought that he was sincere or what, but uh, that's here, no, there. But he pleaded out there, told everybody, if you find, you know, so-and-so, my wife, you know, uh, he, he was strong. He was very strong over the whole thing. You can tell by the, the video that you guys saw. Uh, he was distraught over the whole thing. Uh, I, he was, it, was like, it was like he was beside himself, in a way. Uh, that's the expression I got out of him. But, uh, yeah, uh, it was really terrible. It was really, uh, really terrible that happened. So it was around Mother's Day. This was stateside. Bear this in mind. This was only in the uh, USA. It's not here in Canada. It was stateside. It was in Colorado. That's the location. Um, and you can Google it. You can go on Google Maps, type in Colorado. It's somewhere in Colorado um, that uh, this incident happened, apparently. This was last year, sometime around last year. And people on YouTube videos were, uh, you know, they were talking about it. You know, like people sometimes like to talk about it. Yeah, they talked about it already. Uh, and they got people going. They, uh, they did like Google Hangout stuff about it. And um, the brother of the wife who went missing did a humongous, you know, as they do a, a, a search party for her, you know, uh, her, I guess we call it daughter, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to figure this out because <laughs> due to the family, I'm trying to figure who's the, in the family kind of thing. Uh, so the brother did a, you know, the, uh, he sent out a search party kind of thing to look for her. And uh, it, it was extensive. Uh, let's put it this way. It was very extensive, as uh, far as what I heard about. Uh, very extensive. And uh, it was really, really... Uh... But anyway, we heard the good news this morning that uh, the husband got arrested. This is what... I, uh, guess what from... Uh, guess what, <laughs> why he got arrested for. He got arrested for uh, evidence tempering. I kid you not. We don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. Uh, uh, witnessing tempers. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's uh, he's got him on the first degree, and uh, yeah, uh, uh, tempered with evidence. I guess they call it. Uh, so I guess I guess the husband tempered with evidence. I don't know why he did that, but I, I'm assuming that he did that. Uh, but we don't know, right? So, as they would say before the courts. Uh, I'm just saying for for like other people would say uh, before the courts. So that's what the courts uh, decided that. They're going to get on the fourth degree with, uh, uh, you know, temper with evidence. And this is what I've heard through, uh, through, uh, through the media. So, yeah. But we're going to get a press conference. We don't know what time. Sometime, sometime they, I might see the full press conference sometime later tonight. Um, if I do, I'll let you guys know in the next video. Until then, uh, pray for everybody. Pray for, uh, this is great news. I guess this is great news for the, uh, as they say, for the people who are involved with this. Uh, so this is uh, good news. I, I, this is like this is like God's lift above. Amen. It's hard for me to even uh, say this for you guys, but yeah, it's a happy day. Let's put it. It's a happy day. Let's put it all in perspective. It's a happy day. The husband has been arrested. You might sigh relief or something, uh, but yeah, um, it, it, uh, I just heard it through other YouTubers, and one guy said he heard it through multiple sources. This is what he was saying. Multiple sources. So, so I hope the family's listening out there about this. 
and the brother, I hope the brother is listening as well. He might be seeing the press conference today, sometime today. Um, so, so there you go, folks. I'm going to let this be and let this go. And uh, we're going to hear from the, uh, uh, from the actual press conference sometime today. And so there you go, folks. I, I, I won't leave you hanging. I got to leave out of here. Um, the press conference will happen sometime today. I don't know what time, but it'll happen today. And if the press conference, if I miss the press conference, I'll, re, I'll replay it. I'll replay the press conference. And uh, there you go, folks. There you go. So I will, I promise you, I guarantee you, I promise you, I'll see the press conference. I'll let you know after the press conference what I thought about it. And I'll give you my opinion. That's what a lot of people like to say, opinion. So I'll give you my opinion, what I've heard. And uh, yeah, it's a sad day. So they booked them in for tempered with evidence. Can you believe this? On a first degree murder. Can you believe this? <laughs> I guess everybody was stunned about that one. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if they found the body. Did they find the body? I'm, I'm kind of wondering here. Uh, but anyway, folks, I'm sorry I got you unfocused there. But yeah. Um, I'll give you more details as I, if there's a press conference day or not. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be sad. It's going to be sad for everybody involved in this. But yeah, it's going to be really sad. But folks, don't get discouraged. Um, this was a year in the, in the making. Year in the making. It came to this today. I've heard it through other means like other YouTubers out there who mentioned this story. Uh, so... They have their sources. I give them that. They have their sources. And I'm so happy to hear about it. Uh, it was breaking news. It was like music to my ears. Uh, so this was good. Thanks. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. Th thanks. You. Yeah. So we're going to hear, we're going to hear further on the press comments. But uh, as far as I know, they got them on uh, tempered with evidence. That's what I've heard from a lot of YouTubers out there. Uh, so that's what they got them on as far as I know. Uh, so, so that was pretty sad. Pretty sad indeed. Um, we'll hear further later on uh, the press conference because they said they're going to set up a press conference later on tonight, today, and, and I'll replay the press conference later on. So you you'll you'll get the full interview, the full press conference. So of the uh, the uh, people involved in this whole thing. So here we go.